Building with Allen Block in Wall Planters. In Wall Planters are a great way to create more usable space and break up long sections of wall. Compaction is the most important step when building in wall planters. The lower part of the wall is typically built on solid ground, but the upper sections are often built on soils that have been disturbed in the construction process. Building on poor or uncompacted soils will result in the settling of the upper sections of the wall. To ensure stability, these soils must be removed down to solid ground and carefully reinstalled and compacted. To achieve proper compaction, you can remove these soils and replace them with wall rock. Or you can use on-site soils and compact them in 4-inch lifts or less. Good compaction is the key to minimizing settlement over time. After the base course is in place, lay in 4 inches of on-site soils and compact, making a minimum of 2 passes with a mechanical plate compactor. Lay 4 more inches of on-site soils, then compact the wall rock and infill soils, starting at the back of the blocks and working in a path parallel to the wall. Then place the next course of blocks. Fill the hollow cores and 12 inches behind the block with wall rock. Place 4 inches of on-site soils behind the wall rock and compact. Then add 4 more inches of on-site soils behind the wall rock. Run the plate compactor over the top of the blocks to compact the wall rock. Then continue compacting the wall rock and on-site soils in a path parallel to the wall, working from the back of the block to the back of the backfill area. Continue this process until the desired height of your planter is achieved. Following the layout on your approved plans, place 8 inches of wall rock in the location of the upper wall section. Add plantable soil to the planter area and on-site soils to the remaining backfill area. Run the plate compactor over the top of the blocks to compact the wall rock. Then continue compacting the wall rock and on-site soils in a path parallel to the wall, working from the back of the block to the back of the backfill area, making a minimum of two passes with a mechanical plate compactor. Place the next course of blocks, turning the wall to follow the layout of the approved plans. Fill the hollow cores and 12 inches behind the block with wall rock. Then backfill behind the wall rock using approved on-site soils. Compact the wall rock and on-site soils behind the block in 8-inch lifts or less. Continue adding courses, filling and compacting in 8-inch lifts to the top of the wall. On the last course, you can choose to fill the block cores and the entire backfill area with plantable soils to finish off your wall with landscape materials. Remember to always compact the lower backfill area in 4-inch lifts or less and the upper backfill area in 8-inch lifts or less to ensure proper stability. Add in-wall planters to your project and fill your landscape with style. To enhance your project, view the other building options or visit us at allenblock.com.